I go, sir, you don't mind, do you? And he said, actually, I do. Oh, man. Me and that guy, oh, high, high five. five. <laughs> and then he dreamed about sucking his dick. Oh, God. <laughs> and then we kicked oh. Katie out of the room. Yeah. Yeah, we had a party in there. <laughs> There's an empty seat here. Will there be a guest? New mic, new headphones. In case somebody happens to come down, yeah, they won't have to lean over into my microphone. We now have a fourth setup mm -hmm. and a chair and a beautiful table, all thanks to the Patreon subscriber. Thank you. If you are, thank you. If not, I Get say your this. life together. Okay, that do that. Okay, fix your shit, and then subscribe <laughs> for the episode that was just recorded. That has a tale told by this guy that Tommy Simbazo from Storytime with Tommy yeah. Simbazo <laughs> would put his hand mm -hmm. over his mouth. Say, what and the gasp fuck at. is wrong with you? It involves yeah. legitimate possible death. Yes. Maybe the police, maybe an orphan, maybe concussions, <laughs> maybe blood. A story that you. A million dollars worth of drugs. Yes. On your best maybe day. Maybe Andre the Giant. Maybe. <laughs> My rare Andre the Giant impression. You won't be able to predict where the story goes, and the story ain't over. No. So, Patreon episode. Um, I have to get my hair cut tomorrow because we are taking new it's 98 good Rob. right now. It's a little shaggy in the back. Thank okay. you. It's a little It's a little greasy. It's a little Do long. Do Rob and I have to get pictures taken, or these are for your These show? are JSS okay, pictures. It, I think Kirk it. and Marianne are taking some. JSS, we're taking some. And I, I have a fucking conundrum. Because okay. um, much like in the new Dan Soder special, when he was younger, he just felt like a young man being dragged behind his dick like a wild horse. <laughs> um, I might have I might have been might have been bit by the same wild horse where I need to get my hair cut. And usually I've got a barber I go to. Shout out two bits right there on the avenue in hand. Place is great. Knock it out. Bubs, Sarah, everybody. So I go in there. Well. I go to Sam Talent's comedy show, which I wax poetic about last episode. Go and enjoy. And I realized that when I was there, I ran into a few women that were listeners and they have a they have a, a, a barbershop in Parkville. And me, three or four old fashions in, I go, I need a haircut. I'm coming next week. Sure. Turns out I already made an appointment. <laughs> they have been following up almost daily. About me going in there to get this place. It's not the kind of thing you can get done twice. You know, no, people no. Notice that you had it the day before. Uh, it wasn't great. Yeah, yeah, I can't go and just I can't go and fix it. It's it's just going to be what it is. So I looked it up. How many reviews does the place have? Uh, one zero. Okay, <laughs> it is. I was zero. only off by one. <laughs> yes. So uh, this I'll show you this. This is the person who I agreed. To have uh that's that's them. Okay. Okay, okay. there they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, me... now I know why. Now it's all things are starting to make sense. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, all right. That's okay. all making sense. I still think I don't who cares. Yeah. I go in. Let me yeah. ask you a question. I might be able to solve your problem. Fuck my whole world up. Who yeah. cares? Uh please. Can you go into your your regular place for your haircut and be like, hey, I forgot I already scheduled it. Can you give me a beard trim? Oh God, smart. Joe. God damn, that's a good out. Yes. Okay. So Go to my regular place to fix my hair. You got to get the... Go to them yes. to do the beard. You got the photo. So the photo's tomorrow? This photo, the haircut's tomorrow. Okay. The photos are on Thursday, and these things are going on billboards. So it's you, going okay. on the new promo, promotional material. Go to the best haircut place you can... <coughs> yes. Use. Okay, obviously. go to the who you know. But uh, but yeah. you, know, you know the how long you want your beard to be, right? I know exactly how hey, I like... do you want to dye it? No. Hey, oh God, no. go into the other places say you want a Brazilian. Yes. Is there <laughs> any way you do a taint of wax? You see, there's a horrendous yes. photo of me on of my Instagram. Taint? Oh, yes. <laughs> of my beautifully recently dyed taint. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like through. that photo. Here on the YouTube uh, channel, I have now figured out a way to, um, uh, to actually superimpose pictures, video. Watch the last YouTube video. You will see it in there. Fancy. Uh, you, there is a photo of me with a dyed beard. Have you ever seen the dyed beard? I'd like beard? to see it, please. It's the fucking worst while, picture of me. While you're pointing maybe out, ever take it. I got a question for you, because you and I both have beards. Yes. Your beard is a lot thicker than mine. Very thick. It's like, yeah. it's, it's like yeah. SOS. It's and Gabriella. I was wondering, does that have anything to do with a little help that you're getting? Oh. No, it's always been like this. Okay. No, it's always been very SOS I'd like to have a beard that looks more like that it's, than my wispy beard. Uh, Are your pubes thick? You got a good... Yeah. yeah. No, I got good. real... I got real Brillo pad pubes. Nice. And there we are. <laughs> this photo... This I had just dyed my beard. 
I overshot the landing on the die. <laughs> How bad is that? I mean, I like it, but you know me. That's yeah. bad. <laughs> that's did really, you do it yourself? Really yep. Did it so that's wow. a problem. You have to did professional you get do it. Jet black? No. You know what I got? I got touch of gray. That's touch of oil spill. <laughs> okay. it looks like the Exxon, Exxon Valdez. That's there. touch. Is that, is that online somewhere? It's on my Instagram. Okay. I'm going to put it here on this YouTube All video. Right. But that, that I mean, that's touch of Zimbabwe. Isn't there a period yeah. of time that you're supposed to leave that on? I think that's probably what at ten happened. minutes. No, I mean, I did. I did. I was watching. I'm yeah. like, I can't fuck this up. So, I love the idea. Yeah. I'm going to get my beard. Tr I'll get my haircut there. Done. Beard trim there. I'll pay two tips. And whatever photo you get, see uh, whatever haircut go. I get tomorrow, you're going to see in. Years worth of photos now, coming up. So what are you going to wear? Uh, they want us to wear 98 Rock stuff. So. Oh, they're going to be sort of assigned. If they stuff. bought your beard, is that my fault? <laughs> That's what if a they, win. What if they symbazo me? <laughs> they, just, they shave in the yeah. middle. I go full soccer hooligan in the middle. I will get dressed down by uh, management. Hello to Van Arsdale, Kelsey, Van Arsdale. Rodney, Brittany, Carrie, Ariel, Van Shoemaker in the house. Rice Brother Basaurus. What's up, Randolph? Hey, you come we up in the Patreon out. episode, yes. by the way. You come you up do. hard in the Patreon yes. episode. Van Arsdale uh, said that Hackman. Tuesday is the best night of his week. Oh, Hell well, yeah. Thank you, man. Always a pleasure. And uh, I got to see uh the beautiful um i got to see uh our, our kelsey in nice planet fitness and a big beautiful strong strapping man i was walking in they were walking yeah. out and uh tomorrow both carrie and Brittany, i've gotten all your snacks and we'll be doing another twitch uh stream yes. seven o'clock with a giveaway so yes um we we robbie are you currently working on some stuff for us correct behind the scenes you work on a little a little mp3 project um are you talking about that commercial? The yes. thing? Yes. I, I think I've got it ready, I think. Okay. Joe? Well, I'll, let me see if I can't set it up. Yeah, yeah do a little backstory so, so people, if anybody's so new funny. to the show. God, okay. this is, let me, a quick 30-second a quick backstory. I'll do as quickly backstory. as I can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if, you've, uh, ever, if you've been listening to the show since almost the beginning, we've had a comedian... I use that term loosely by yeah. the name of Chris Restivo. I, I played him in a golf Hello. match six on months the ago. show. Yes. Okay. He might be the least self aware human on the planet. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and he had a clothing line that went awry. Somebody <laughs> took his his website and they put a yeah. picture on. So he had to rebrand. He didn't and, really have a clothing line. Just you just you, just, you was, say he didn't something. Even, like, he, well, he just yeah. tried to speak something into the truth. Exactly. Of right. Spoke. There's no like yeah. business license he tried or to, website. Yeah. He tried to just speak something into yes. existence. He, he had the name of a clothing line. Yes. He didn't have a website. He, he didn't have any articles of right. uh, no. what do you call it, uh, corporation or whatever. No, he I don't think do, he's an LLC. He no. didn't do anything other than say, "This is the name of my sure. company." Sure. Yes. So now he, <laughs> like, has for example, a, I'm a record producer. Now. Yes. <laughs> okay, just because I spoke yes. into being. Well, he is also a stockbroker for a while. He, That's he also true. Tried hey, to, remember his advice? Yes, I do. Stocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to make some money in the stock market. Any advice? Stop. I'll look yes. into that. Nice. Yeah, done I'll and just done. Buy them all. Interesting <laughs> take. Could yeah. you be more specific? I'll buy nope. one of every stuff. Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, real quick, that that um, I wonder if you have that whole thing. But one time, he left a voicemail. Did he leave it on your voicemail about how much how how much he, that I'm a loser? And then one time we Jim, did, I don't know loser. how much for our thirty second. Well, I'll go quick. <laughs> uh, we did a. No, we have uh, all fucked it up. Yeah, we did a. Uh, uh, I actually read that transcript of that call, and then Jen Wardrop signed did sign language. Yes, Remember you're that? right. He was angry at us for a yes, while. He yes, was angry. he's angry. Right. A clothing company very... is a pretty standard business. A ton of people try and get sure. off the ground. T-shirt companies, comedians sell T-shirts, sure. bands sell T-shirts, he... skaters sell T-shirts, wrestlers. Has... But he rebranded. Yes, to Stripper Whisper. The Stripper Whisper. Follow it on Instagram. It's the worst things you've ever seen. Now, They're hilarious. Rob is completely wrong. <laughs> It's the greatest thing you've ever. It is seen. the greatest thing you've ever seen. He does movie posters <laughs> where he oh, takes shit. Yeah. things about uh, strip clubs and strippers and incorporates that into what would normally be the tagline. Sure. Content machine. He, he by puts the way. Non -stop. face on you know Luke Skywalker and yes. Princess Leia is now uh, some stripper. He's now I got to pull up some of his awkwardly network. photoshopped in there. And and every single post has zero likes or it has one, and that's by Eric Woodward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the most recent one was a, a Dr. Seuss, the stripper whisperer. Oh, the strip clubs you'll go. Uh, that was yes. one. And uh, he has himself in the cat in the hat. Yes. Okay. yes. The, the one before that was the porn Star Trek, the stripper whisperer. This is the only one I don't think he edited the photo at all. That's the only one right there. I don't think he edited himself at all. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, that's he good. put himself in the Star Trek movie. Read yes. what it says okay. there. 
Okay. It says porn Star Trek. Okay. The stripper whisperer. That's it. That's it. That's the yeah. whole thing. He put himself in there as Spock. The 10 inch mutant ninja. I guess he has a 10 inch cock. I guess that's I what it is. I have heard from Eric Woodworth that yes. he's working with a hammer. Mm-hmm. Now, his most recent dalliance. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, he's, he has a new product, if you will. A new he's product. A businessman. It's called stripper water. <laughs> he's, he's got his own water. Yeah. His, <laughs> Does he have a factory? Where oh, yes. If you does, think does about, he have a bottle? Did he place? tap into a spring? Yes. If you think about anything that you want to associate with strippers, okay, drinking something is almost at the bottom of the list. Or if it's going to be alcohol, if it is like yeah. a, sure, alcohol. a shot, some sort of alcohol that you know is somewhat antiseptic. I don't want to drink stripper. But what he did was he created a commercial. <laughs> yes. Okay. By the way, how many likes does the commercial have? I mean, I fight it like that one. It's it's it, it pretty should strong. have a, a million. Yeah, it four. should. It should have. Uh, it yeah. should have. It should have He's, a million. Views. Oh, this should go viral. He's selling his own water. Yeah, like, yeah. just to say how ridiculous. He's selling like, bottles of water. Do you have a bottle manufacturer? Do you have someone that's going to be labeling this? By the way, it is a food stuff. Yes, you've got to go through. Yeah. the FDA to legitimately sell water. I bet you it would cost a million. It'd be brutal. Yes. yes. Does he have a million dollars? He does not have one dollar. Now, before I, I actually had a conversation with, with Chris, mm-hmm. a text conversation about stripper water. But before that, and this is not a new sponsor, by the way. No, it's not. But no. uh, there is actually a commercial that you can find. Is it on Instagram or TikTok? Yes, it's on a stripper on whisper. It's probably on stripper, both. Stripper water. Let's hear Robbie, it. let's hear it. Hold on one sec. Not getting any audio. Not getting any. Hold on one second. Wait, I'm gonna wait, wait. Here it goes. Social anxiety making you feel like a female praying mantis in the heat. Student loans got you down like a two dollar hooker on your knees. Is that bipolar disorder acting up like an unruly prison in me? Daddy issues making me post a thirst trap on Instagram at three in the morning. Instead of filling your system with Xanax and cheap vodka, fill it with something good. Fill it with the only water to soothe your nerves. You can feel energized again without the use of cocaine and nasty energy drinks. So the next time you step up to that pole and want to feel like a rock star after a three-day orgy, just put that bottle to your lips and drink that water. Super water. Water with problems. Water with problems? <laughs> That's the tag. I don't want to drink that shit. Wait a water with problems? What the Wait. fuck's a problem? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of chlamydia flavored, yes. syphilis flavored, abusive stepfather flavored. Now, at first, <laughs> water Jeez. with problems. Water with problems. We are efforting to get this water. We yes. are going to have. Oh. We're going to have a taste test between <laughs> tap water, oh. all the other brands, and then the piss in common than that. Oh right. my god, I do have a rival yeah. brand to take mm-hmm. his on. Queer Park. <laughs> <laughs> we put it on the so, shelf right next yes. to it. Water you, with piss and cum in it. You texted him correctly. Oh, yes. Jesus. Yes. Here's what I said. Uh, where can I order stripper water? This is going to come as a shock, but uh, you can't order it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm getting it made soon. It's not ready yet. It takes a while to get. It takes to a while to make new water. water. Yeah. yeah. To, I mean, to, to make water. Yeah. I mean, you got to really have a good chemist. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, Robbie, did you? I posted this. Did you read this? Yes, I. I did. Okay, read so it. I'll just have to read. You guys can't guess. How much does it cost per case? He said, a fair amount. Yes. Okay, so, fair yes. amount. So I go. Don't estimate. Can you tell me? Like what? What do you? He goes. No, that's privileged information. Privilege. Who has the privilege <laughs> of knowing how much water okay. with a problem tastes? So I said. The cost is privileged information. I said, I won't buy someone if I, I won't buy something if I don't know the cost. No one will. Okay. He Your goes, wife. He said two bucks a bottle. <laughs> two bucks a bottle. <laughs> we got two bangers in chat right now. Dave Dennis says yes. the water should be called H2O. I, I, I like that. Yes. And Katie Robinson says two hydrogen. One oxygen, zero <laughs> estimation. <laughs> his, old, his old tagline was never estimate. Now, we agree that all he's doing is buying the cheapest bottle water at a store, taking off the label and putting his loan label on. Correct? Yes. However, if Which, it's two that's bucks a best a bottle, case scenario. I think he's putting this shit up to a tap. I think he's finding. Well, bottles you still have of water. to buy the bottle. Yeah, I'm going to know if the seal is broken yes. on a cap. Not a one of these things. I'll bet my 401k. If you bought one of these <laughs> things, that cap is not sealed. That cap. That cap's not sealed at all. Or. 
what if, what if it just <laughs> he just has solo cups and he just has he's pouring it out of a fucking container. Oh, it's a picture. It's a picture. Yes, there's no bottles at all. Yeah, it's bottleless water. Yes, and there's what a about the distribution. Here's you what he got to go to Chris Restivo to get it. Frito Lay. He's not getting on <laughs> <laughs> Frito Lay local company. Anheuser Busch. Yeah, they'll put it out there. Uh, Anheuser I, no Bush. So he said uh, the shirts are selling like crazy though. Now that of course not. is not true. The only person that buys them, we all work with. Yes, yes that's correct. Uh, by the way, I own personally, I think four or five five plated clothing shirts. Yeah, and everyone showed up exactly as you ordered. Yeah. Now the color, right. the positioning. Three months later, the size. Yeah, we talk a lot about Eric, but I don't believe anybody owns more five plated clothing shirts than I do. No one. I'm pretty sure I own the most. Really? Oh. He said the shirts are selling like crazy, though. They're definitely well, not. They, no. It, if if he's selling like five, that would be crazy. Honestly, that is crazy. Yeah, that's a, yeah. one is crazy. Exactly. That's you a five hundred percent increase. Right. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, an hour went by, and he said this. I did order custom stripper pasties. <laughs> from he has lingerie now too, by the way, and Ooh. and bracelets also. A lot of merch. They're so, Ritz crackers with duct tape behind so them. So if you want. If you're a stripper and you want stripper whisper pasties, you can buy them. He has a whole panty section. He's got lingerie coming. Amazing. I mean, we've been trying to get Katie outfitted in this. I have a question. Brittany mm -hmm. makes a great point. He has shirts, but DLP doesn't. God. Oh, God, that hurts, Brittany. You're right. Yeah, that you know, hurt. and I Stings. and I we I just talking to Randolph Rice this past week, and maybe that's what we can work maybe on. Maybe Randolph. Randolph yeah. yeah, Randolph. We're gonna have a little Randolph yeah. summit soon. It's time yeah. to we're engaged. We're gonna get yeah. married. Good okay. times with Randolph this Hell past yeah. Saturday. So First of all, when's the last time? I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time at strip clubs, but is there a strip club around here where the girls have to wear pasties? No, it's it's full frontal. I used to host the Wednesday night amateur night at the Hustler Club downtown. Well, they start off right where I would. They like start that. off, yeah. in, but not in a state of dress. You don't pull a pasty. No, pasties. no, no, no mm -mm. Mm. none at all. I don't okay. know. Okay, he's not going to the best strip. Club. Prediction: He yeah. did. He never sells a pasty. He never sells water. He's, oh, no, these he's away. definitely going to sell the water. This water's good. He will we're, buy, <laughs> we're buying the water. Um, we are having a I water taste. I think the pasties test. happen before the water does. The water seems like so much more involved. Because you can go to these um these tchotchke companies, and there's catalogs. Get anything made, slap and your logo on it. I got you. And they'll buy something with tassels, and they might have a you know a, a, a tchotchkes after dark section okay, for gotcha. thongs and stuff. That's a catalog. But you purchase. can buy waters that are labeled. I'll bet uniquely like blank them. water. Yes. You know those those tchotchke I'll bet companies they do. also I bet sell you do yeah. that. those. Yes, you're right. Again, I'm not kidding. He's putting tap water into a pitcher and pouring it into. <laughs> he's going to do nothing into your outstretched exactly. all state hands. Right. All right. Here you go. I promise you, you guys are putting more thought in it, into this than he has. What do you mean you made a whole commercial? Come on, that's yeah. a lot of thought. You put production behind yeah. this. He got a girl to read that. I mean, she's like, I mean, doesn't she, he have? Women she got a piece him? of the company. She yeah. you know, on the back end. Yeah. I'll give Maybe you he used AI. I'll give you fifteen percent. <laughs> You get 20 points. If he knows how to use AI to make a commercial, I'll put my head through that fucking monitor. <laughs> I'll put my head through that goddamn monitor. Yeah. If I find out he knows how to use AI. I, I'll say this. He does these. It's the worst Photoshops. And I guarantee yeah. you, of all of us, who hates these Photoshops the most? Robbie. Robbie. Robbie does 100%. not like a, He does not like Because that's photo. your industry. For he those doesn't that like don't know, our producer, Fourth Mike, Robbie, he's in graphic design. He yeah. makes very well edited. All of our logos are him. Designs are him. So then you see this shit. <laughs> you spend so much time every day handcrafting. Like I said earlier, I just learned the word bespoke. Get used to it. And these individual made things for companies, we never bring them up. But his cat in a hat photo from Chris Restivo, oh. one of us is going to get as a tattoo for a punishment so for the bet. Yes. That God. shit's going to happen. Yeah, I think about that because if, I mean, it, there's only so much that I can do ironically. to get a, To get that tattoo... I'm not. Yeah. I have to. Yeah, we talked about having a some sort of bet where the loser has to do that, and I know I don't want to do that, Katie. That was a fun idea, but you weren't involved in it. I'm sure. I got enough shitty so, tattoos. Yeah, I can't. I don't know if I can do that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm already having enough I'm trouble getting, betting someone down. Much less hey, I go in there preach to the choir, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, you yeah, check roll, out the roll. Patreon. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and check out maybe the the title of his possible new special. Uh, Katie came up with a special yeah, she's title. She's on a roll creatively. That's fucking a banger. Yeah. Hey, let's take a quick break. We want to thank some sponsors. Hell yeah. Uh, up on the other side of that, speaking of specials, uh, I got an announcement about mine. We yes. might be able to enjoy it sooner rather than later. Stick around.
Hey, it's Justin from the DLP Agenda, welcoming to the Die Laughing family, GRB Roofing. GRB Roofing in Bowie, Maryland. Think about it. Your roof, the roof on your home, the roof on your business, it covers all your stuff. Yeah, you could do without a front door. Yeah, hey, maybe you could put a piece of plastic over a window. But a roof? You gotta have a roof. You gotta have a top tier roof. You gotta have a roofing company like GRB Roofing that's gonna take amazing care of you. How do I know they're gonna? How about 65 years of collective experience? How about 700 plus projects completed beautifully, successfully? Go to grbroofing.com right now. Get your free quote today and they're going to take amazing care of you. Commercial, residential, exterior home improvements, deck and fencing. I can't wait to use them. My house, total dump. Every day I want to go on my roof, I want to take myself a crowbar and I want to rip up the entire daggone thing. You know what's going to happen after I have a flipped out moment? A, I'm going to call myself. B, I'm going to make a therapy appointment and then I'm immediately going to get a hold of GRB Roofing. Again, give them a call. 443-699-6192. That's 443- 4436996192 or go to grbroofing.com that's grbroofing.com it's your roof it covers all your stuff Joe Robinson here from the DLP agenda to tell you about my favorite member of the Rice, Murtha and Pesoris team Joseph Murtha We talk a lot about car accidents and slips and falls but I spent some time this week with my hero Joseph Murtha and he's forgotten more about the criminal justice system than all these other TV lawyers combined. That's right. The Rice, Murtha, and Pesoris team is not limited to helping you with your civil case. But maybe you accidentally lit your neighbor's house on fire. Or maybe you inadvertently drove a car for a month that you kind of quote-unquote borrowed. That's where the expertise of the great Joseph Murtha comes in. He's been defending since before my wife was a glimmer in Frank Push's eye. My co-hosts like the bread. But as always, I like the meat. Joseph Murtha, the meat in the rice, Murtha, and Pesora sandwich. So if you're in trouble, they're the ones to call. Rice, Murtha, and Pesoris. For the best advice, call Rice. Or Murtha. You're listening to the DLP Agenda. I need everybody, if they could please, to keep the night of April 24th. It is a Wednesday. Okay. It is a Wednesday April night, 20, April 24th. 24th. It is a Wednesday night. I'm available. And I'm, uh, I'm going to be at Magoobies doing a one-man, one-night storytelling show uh, that I've entitled Falsehoods, Malarkey, and Lies, True Stories That I've Made Up with Justin Schlegel. And it's going to be me working out quite a few very long form spin a yarn stories that I'm trying to mine stuff from okay for the fall Got and it. I'm selling it as this stuff is not polished tested material it's going to be a very low ticket price uh Andrew and I have already talked about it he set the night aside love uh, it it's going to be again this, you're going to come and get to basically watch me workshop a bunch of stuff I've never discussed on the air before never discussed on here before actually not true you're going to get deep insights into the threesome that went horrible um <laughs> there's some other stuff on there i'll One get into the early dlp One agenda with justin early one still gonna get that episodes. guy on yeah. and uh <laughs> yeah so it's gonna be it's gonna be me maybe an opener maybe not now are it's, you going to stick to not doing the easy i can involve the crowd and make this no work. crowd work okay. zero crowd work it's gonna be this is going to be stories for you. i tell that I've always wanted to flesh these things out and work. You're going to help I'll me be there. flesh it out live. All right. And I'll be there, it, too. Some of it might be long mm. swaths of fucking silence. And some of no. it be like, ah, write it down. That's great. Write it down. That's great. Mm. If I do an hour at this thing, if I can mine a good 15, 20, I'm going to be happy if I get more. So, but Andrew, I'm, I'm doing him a favor for something behind the scenes. Nothing worth discussing. So he is doing a, a courtesy my way. So April that 24th, would be a good night to debut our T-shirts that we've we'll have had made. We I know a distributor where yeah. I works locally makes water. So <laughs> that evening, I what would if not we mind. commissioned him to design a DLP? <laughs> what? Uh, no, we're five. We're hundred percent doing that. Remember the Robin Joe show thing that he did? No, but I'm. 
I do really remember it. I had drawings of the yeah, two of you. I yes. do. I like it. Let's but I'm excited, it. Justin. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's I'm gonna be 100% little... going to be there. Everyone in the chat saying they're going to yeah. be there. It's going to be a I'll mini be special. Sure. It's, it's being filmed, too. Oh, uh, fuck I got, yeah. our, got our friend Ryan yeah. Air Bear Productions. Thank you, Air Ryan. Bear Productions. Saw you at the Office Trivia last week. Hell you and yeah. the lovely wife. Thank you for supporting us, as always. If you got a business, you need any type mm -hmm. of video production, video conceptualization, the guy helps, I mean, soup to nuts. Did our promo video, killed exactly. it. Exactly. And the guy could not be sweeter to work with. Uh, mm -hmm. Air underscore bear, as in grizzly bear, underscore productions on Instagram. Follow him. Use him, please. But we're going to do a test run as far as, like, camera setups. Yes. How we want to do stuff at the theater. Maybe you're going to move from the theater to Magoobies. What a, That's a possibility. Okay, sure. Oh, that's TBD. The theater's uh, being... I like it. The theater has a lot more questions than I thought they'd have right now mm -hmm. for something that was pretty easily agreed upon. So, well, one thing I know about Andrew, he asks very few questions. Yes. <laughs> <not at all. laughs> Fuck. I just thought Sometimes about it. He doesn't even, he's not even there. <laughs> right. he's just, just, didn't remember there's a show. <laughs> directed by Julia. So uh, that's his lovely son. Hey, um, as a matter I, just of fact, sent, I just sent you the graphic, dude. My son, uh, he started at Magoobies. This yes, past he weekend. met That's Randolph right. and his wife. Yes. His first weekend working at Magoobies, the headliner was David Keckner. The feature was uh, was Rob Mayer. That's a nice to, soft yeah. takeoff for him because mm -hmm. yeah. he's around friendly faces. Yep, yes, because yep, yep. at some point he's going to do what, what's his role there? He's a waiter. Waiter. Okay. He was he was training that that night and. Uh, the staff was said very complimentary about him. Very nice kid. Yeah, he's a good kid. Yeah, no, he's he's gonna do well. There. There's a lot of jobs I fear: Bering Sea crab fisherman, fucking <laughs> bounty hunter, shit like that. Do I, you, I I don't want to wait tables. I, I fucking be a fear dropping shit. I yeah. absolutely fear being a yeah. waiter. I was yeah. a bar back and I was a bus boy, and they wanted to train me to be a waiter. No. My anxiety wouldn't let me. I I'm, don't want to. I'm do the it. same way. Now, did you? Did he wait on you that night? Did you? No. Here's the deal. I said to Julian, and I thought this would be easy. Mm. Hey. Can you seat me before everybody gets in? Can yeah. you just seat me in my son's section? He goes, give me a second. Yeah. And then he never come back. And I saw him. He goes, we're really busy. I go, all right, forget it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't want to. Sure. I, I, but you I, saw him, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. I saw him. Yeah. I talked to him. I said goodbye. Mm -hmm. I said hello. Um, but I didn't get a chance because I would like to have left him a big fat tip, which I didn't get to do. So, I uh yeah. well that he was he I don't think he was gonna get tips that night. He was just getting fifteen you know, bucks an hour training. Too, so yeah. he yeah. would have been given the person who was training him tip, which would have been nice too. I had a that would have made her feel good. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah, I had a terrifying night that involved that. I did the same thing when I was a bar mm -hmm. back bus boy, a place called Padonia Station, where for the first week you got paid and it was ten bucks. And then after that, you got paid, it was like two thirteen an hour, but then all the bartenders and waitresses would mm -hmm. tip you out and you know you'd make quite a bit of money. Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's the <laughs> it's the Christmas no, I that. logo. Yes. That is really dog mm -hmm. shit. Um, so that's how it worked out. And when I became head barback bus boy, I would then train new guys. I remember there was a night this guy came in there and he looked like Sling Blade. I mean, he looked <laughs> he looked, he was did he order biscuits and mustard. He did do, he did a lot of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, where do I take these trash cans? I mean, the guy was not well. I remember his lips were purple, like his circulation oh, was that's shit. Not good. Not, not good. good. First night there, strong as a fucking <laughs> UFC heavyweight. I saw him just, I mean, absolutely carry two full kegs, one in each hand. <laughs> Me, I'm, I'm waddling like a newborn. <laughs> He's throwing him up. He's yeah. fucking <laughs> like chucking throw him pillows. like Magnus Ver Magnuson. <laughs> the guy's amazing. He has, he's, well, the issue is I started noticing issues within an hour. He was going over to people's tables and was bussing them while they were sitting. Oh, someone was like eating. He grabbed the tray and the, the plate aggressively and, and yeah. threw it in the bus stop and walked yeah. away. And like, dude, I'm not done with uh, that. And just ignore. You're done when I when I say but you're you, done. You're scared to you're say you're done. Now. I was like, God, you got to wait till they're done. <laughs> Their plate looked dirty. I'm like, okay, so he's not. He's doing. Seems like he's doing well. He's not doing great. He's not doing great. <laughs> he's well, the manager end, there now. Well, the end of the night rolls around. And the waiters just come by, and there was a busboy bar back area. It was kind of where you folded the silverware, mm -hmm. and they knew to find you there because at the end of the night, you had to roll up silverware for the next day. So everyone would come by, and they would hand you a little envelope, or they would just give you straight cash. And I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to teach him. It's just fork, knife, spoon, fold, fold, flag, binder. And he's fucking not getting it. He can't. He's just like bending the fucking forks <laughs> and shit. He has a particular type of strength I can't reference. But, <laughs> right. And he... They start bringing over money and he stops working and is just staring and he's looking at my fucking hands and he goes, how much of that's mine? I go, well, you're getting paid hourly and a week later, then you'll start getting tipped out. I work tonight too. Oh no. Like, well, it's not how, it works. no, it's, um, <laughs> well you get, you're, you're going to get this in a week. Yeah. I worked as much as you did. Like, 
fuck. Okay. <laughs> you gave him all your money. <laughs> I go, hold on. Let me go. Let me go talk to the manager. Maybe we can get you tipped out. The manager also noticed what a fucking psycho so he was. He goes, I don't know what to fucking tell him. The one, the, the one person of authority goes, I don't know. Give him some money. I gave him half that fucking money. <laughs> As you should. He <laughs> never came back. He ne- thank Christ. Hey, I, was- I got $23. I'm out of here. I'll bet I'm you at the time you needed that. I money. need yes. I'm living nickel to nickel. It wasn't worth dying over. No. no. But you, you could have were- used it. I just yeah. remember his lips were fucking purple. So, I, uh. Saw Danny Charnley, who now works at Magoobies, uh, as a chef. Yes. And Danny, comedian. We've referenced him many times back in the Robin Joe show. Fiendishly talented on Twitter. Yeah. Dan K. Charnley. He had Scary on Twitter. The tweet that blew up that we have since copied that joke was, what's your favorite movie about lamb silencing? Yes. Uh, yeah. And he actually had another one that went viral. Um when you're angry that your stepdad Terry is doing loud sex to your mom and yeah, you're yeah. your Mountain Dew, right? And yeah, he had that he had graphic a, of the fat emo kid. Yeah, he, he, he had about like seven jokes that he would repeat, but he, and, he got it. But he, they were all variations. Yeah, about on the a Yolo team and the guy and that the, yeah, who's yeah. Uh, yeah. a what's the country singer yes, Keith Urban looks like Aunt yeah, Donna or yeah, something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Saint Susan. Yeah, he yeah. would do that. So uh, if you know me, you know that if someone tells a story that I think is really funny, I want to tell it to everybody. Yeah. And Danny told me a story about a girl that he had recently broken up with. And I immediately w- tried to tell everybody. And, and I did, then I realized, oh, he's still hurt by this. Oh. But I then I just waited till he left the room. And then I would tell him. Okay, he's gone. So, so anyway. Exactly. Yeah. And how he knows this. But he um, told me he dated this girl for four years. A Thai girl, Justin Special. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, one year, this most recent year I, maybe it was last christmas doesn't matter he goes over for christmas i guess it was last christmas and Is she definitely a girl she's a girl damn it and she had made a calendar with everyone in the family's birthday in it 100 calendars everyone's gift was here's the calendar january 3rd there's little cousin and so and so birthday picture so on this calendar the sea of of thai women and men then there's Danny Charnley with his neck tattoo. May 31st, she put up Danny Charnley's birthday right there in this counter with Wu Min Lee and this and this. And then <laughs> yeah. there's Danny Charnley, May 31st. The girl he's dated for four years. Birthday, May 31st. Danny's birthday is May 23rd. Oh, no. <laughs> It wasn't oh, even no. the day of the week off. Yes. Uh, yeah. it was, right. it it's was not even eight, like a yeah. two one one two or reverse. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a completely oh, eight days later. Sixteen, right? So yeah, just a four week years. Fucking off. Now, yes. Do you know what happened to Danny Charlie's Twitter? Did he get it bumped? So he got hacked or something. Let me, no. Yeah, yeah. no. Let me tell you, yeah. fuck, because it was it killer. It might be the same story. Now he had thousands oh no he was six yes. thousands yes. deep yes. into the and followers thousands yeah. of followers he might have been the first local comic that went yeah. that had a large social media presence ariel who's in chat mm-hmm. first friend of ours that went viral yeah yes. with the uh woman in the car picture but his social was the first one that went hey, deep into the numbers hey uh um michael mckeon you remember him lenny from lenny and squid yeah 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 from also, uh, also from better uh, call saul yeah and uh uh spinal tap Best in show yes yeah he followed him. He was he. he I remember Danny that. Charlie. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. Uh, Danny Charlie's girlfriend. It might have been the same one. It might be the one we're talking about. Got his password. Changed it. Let, won't give it back to him. No. He had to start all the way over. Does he know who took it? He's aware of who took it. Yes, he told it's me this, it was this, this. This. He said it was his ex girlfriend. I assume it's the same. He one. has a lot of ex girlfriends that ended bad. But yeah, I fucking. Yes. I mean, I sorry, offer Danny, money. It's not your fault. No, yes. he's a handsome guy. He's funny mm-hmm. as fuck. I've hung out with him before. Mm-hmm. I. I mean, I offer money. I'm like, all right, hostage situation. What's it going to take? Name a yeah. number. Give me a number. Give me a fucking number. Let's anybody. work on that. Oh my god, hold on. <clears throat> we have to buy it. We have to make it our own. We immediately have a oh, massive fun. We do. We buy it. With we change gun. it to DLP agenda. Yes. 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 We're He's huge. got a huge followership so with a bunch of great. Are we are already. we in the clear, Randolph? Is Let's that legal? Can, Can we, do we that? cyber squat his we give it back to him eventually, yeah. but for a little while, let's get let's ride that Charlie wave. That's Speaking good, of that's a good that's some that's good, good ass idea. content I, on there. I hung out with Randolph and his wife at Whitson after the show for several hours. Great people. And Randolph said something to me, very kind. He said, I thought I was funny. Until I met you, Joe, and Justin. Yeah. And I said back to him, 
well, we thought we were successful until we met you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We thought we were yeah. handsome. We thought we were doing yeah. well yeah. Yeah. in life. And then we realized we're just scraping. I by. thought my girlfriend <laughs> was pretty. And then I met your wife. All right. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I'm hanging out with a deleted scene from Lord of the Rings. This you is know how many people I've invited to a skybox that I've paid for? You know how many, time, how many people? How many? This is zero. Do you know how many yes. times I've invited uh, friends for a weekend getaway on my boat in Ocean City? <laughs> zero. Yeah. Zero times. Ariel mm -hmm. wants us to buy her uh, online presence so okay ariel you know there was a time there when that Game when that price. thing went viral that would have been the only fans time i'm just saying it's yes. not too late it's not too late it's ariel. not too it's late never too late uh hey you saw um you saw dune you and katie saw dune right god man it's fucking awesome right so i've never heard katie talk more about katie anything Katie loves right. it anyway katie and, can yeah. she uh, you give me a sci-fi head give me a pete give me a dave a tommy and eric yeah. I'm like, she's okay. not a sci-fi but that she's not a sci-fi no. so for her to give such a glowing like holy shit mm -hmm. movie do you know did you see the the thing about imdb it well, is now the highest rated imdb movie of all time more than the godfather yeah uh god well there's another more one than here. shawshank more I, it's it it's top of the heap right now nothing comes close to the reviews and the ratings on imdb so i swear katie and i watched dune the original not okay. the original with sting i'm talking about the first one the most yes. recent one and, that came out and and i didn't remember it and i'm like i thought we watched it. i thought we watched it katie's like i i watched it i don't think we did so i went back begrudgingly i watched the first one Definitely did not watch it because I loved it. Damn. Damn. So you went into this thing not having seen no, it. No, no, you no. went back and watched the first I one and learned it. that you hadn't watched right. it. Right. Clearly yeah. had not watched right. it. That's and so I watched it. I go, wild. wow, this is really good. Right. I'm I really, really enjoyed it. And so we were kind of fired up about seeing this. Now, you guys know this, when you're fired up about seeing a movie, more often than not, it doesn't live up to whatever sure. your expectations no. are. I, mean, I would say 90% of the time. But Absolutely. sometimes the inverse is true. Someone shit talks to me like, it's so bad, it's so bad, it's so bad. Right. You see and go, oh, I actually liked it. That's right. And it's yeah. that's more likely because if your, your, your expectations are nothing, and then you, everybody knows a movie. I remember when I saw The Kingsman knowing nothing. I go, wow, yeah. this movie's awesome. Aaron Ecker. Yeah. Oh, no, right. no, no, I'm not saying that yeah. guy's name. Taron right. Edgerton. Taron Edgerton. Yeah, Thank you me. see these movies that you don't know anything, but this movie, first of all, not only were we really excited about seeing it, but this fucker thing is three hours long. And that you see that time and you go, okay, is it a Scorsese three hours? It can be intimidating. I mean, I yeah. love Scorsese. He's your bladder mature. issues. My, yeah. my, hey, I your piss bowels. constantly. Yeah. I swear to you, the first thing I think about when I see that movie is, mm. give me a seat on the end. Yeah. Because I know I'm going to have to get up. I don't want to have to Did walk you? past people. Did you make Never it? pee. Did you pee your pants? Oh, no, sure. I peed my pants. Nice. Or no. a diaper for? And I wore a diaper. <laughs> okay. No, I I, if, I don't know if it was because I love the movie so much. Did you go and affect it or did didn't, you go in straight? No, I went in straight. Okay. I went in straight. We both did. You didn't watched, Simbazo it. Didn't Simbazo. Watched the movie. Absolutely fucking loved it. We're going to go see it again. Oh hell yeah! Wow. In the theaters, I'm 100%. going. This, I'm going this Sunday. If now, you want to get, get back together, I'm. I have to see it okay. this weekend. Now I wanna... we're not buying another twenty five dollar worm popcorn bucket. I'm At not doing Justin that. Justin ninety eight rock go over there right now on Instagram. I've got a poll up, and it merely reads, "I'm holding the bucket." Should I? I'm not doing that. By the way, shout out. We bought that for Tim. I shouldn't have given him the price. That we bought it yeah. out for our buddy who it made this. It table. looked more expensive yeah. than that. Yeah. yeah. No. Hey, yeah. thanks for making this table. Yeah. Here's a $25 yeah. gift. There you go. Here. Here's the space yeah. flashlight. Here's quality, some stripper water. Yeah, yeah. The quality of a <laughs> stripper water. When you bottle. fuck it, think of us. Okay. <laughs> so you saw Dune, loved extremely it. high rated movie. Absolutely loved it. Uh, Mud asked if I could take the, uh, the stepson and a couple of friends. They want to go. They want to go to the movies. Mm hmm. Like, mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think what's in there because they're not going to watch Dune. It's, 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 it's big. It's bombastic, but it's, it's a little heady. It's sure. got a lot of canon. There's a lot of backstory. Yeah. I'm thinking migration too young. I'm going to go see that with Evan. I'm going to go see that with some eight year olds, some nine year olds. It's I don't from, even know what's out. It's, uh, you're about to find out. You're Joe. about to fucking find out. I saw Madam Web. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, can, before you say anything, <laughs> I know that that movie is is reviewed very poorly, but how about this? It's currently in the theaters. Sydney Sweeney did Saturday Night Live and, and shit on it, shit on her own movie, which, shit which on, says yeah. a lot. Yeah, which says it's like no one's going to defend it. It's like <laughs> it's we all know it's shit. Yeah, let me uh, let me actually pull up. What's her name? Is it Dakota Johnson? Oh, uh, oh no, no, she it's, just uh, yeah, it is Dakota Johnson. She just hosted SNL like a month ago too. Yeah, yeah, she did. Uh, Dakota Johnson today uh, probably will never do anything like that again. 
She's going in interviews going, I'm never fucking doing this Now, again. is she Madam Webb or She's Sydney the Sweeney? Star. She is. Dakota Johnson. Now, Sydney Sweeney is second tier there. Okay. Okay. And then from there, there is a Thelma and Louise drop-off into a <laughs> sea of fucking nobodies. <laughs> it is a I don't movie. know that they could have fixed it, according to what I'm hearing. I'm telling you. It I could have been Daniel Day-Lewis. The woman... <laughs> The woman that was Navarro from True Detective was a better actress than most of <laughs> the women in this did, fucking film. Did the kids want to see this? They wanted to see it because it's a Spider-Man film. It's in the Spider-Man universe. Okay, they don't but say did they know it was supposed to be awful? They don't know. They're just well, you knew that, right? I fucking knew it. I'm like, no, there's no way. This movie's shit. Did but anybody like it? No, it was fucking horrible. It's the Ishtar of 2024. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. <laughs> and it's one of those movies that just absolutely lies to you. Watch the trailer, and you see all these spider women flying around. Right. That fucking scene is six seconds long, and it's in the trailer, and that's it. There's nobody fucking dressed up. There's no spider With shit. women that hot, it's it, are they? Think are it'd there, be hard to fuck it up that bad. Boobs out uh, all the time? No, never, never. Because that's her superpower. It's yes, fucking not spinning horrendous. webs. Yes. So here's here's my here's my thing about it. So this movie, it fucking eats it. I mean, we are in the rock bottom bedrock era. Of, are there people in the theater with you? It might be a dozen people. Right. Okay. Dozen. Meanwhile, there's two fucking screenings for Dune on each side of us. Yes, people, people screaming. Off the people cheering. Yeah. 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 Just Katie's crying. Car. Someone's walking. Around. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. One more ticket. We got to do it back. Encore. Encore. So I start. I. You know what I do when I get done with the TV show, True Detective. When I get yeah. done with the movie, Dune. I start digging in. How did this one scene get made? How did this one guy mm -hmm. get cast? How did you get special effect? Well, this was how the fuck did this happen? <laughs> how did this goddamn movie happen? And I start reading into the history of the thing. <laughs> and I start reading about Sony executives getting involved. And this was like a creative council. And people kept fucking with it. Whatever. Well, sure enough, 2024 reels its, rears its fucking head. And one of these D minus level actresses in the thing says you know who you know why it bombed it's the it's the lowest grossing i think marvel right. product ever because men the, can't the, handle the female leads or you something. didn't go yes you didn't go right. no okay well and we would have gone if it was good hey, if I, I, I saw black widow okay mm. i saw wonder woman it's directed by a woman okay it's written by a woman okay the entire cast except for the villain all women okay <laughs> so i did some stat research what was the percentage male to female of people that saw the film Oh, I'm sure it's all men. 78% <laughs> exactly. dudes. Yes. 22% right. women saw this yes. film. Yeah. So women didn't go see no. it. No. But this fucking lady's out there flapping her goddamn gums. Yes. And Cindy's is red hot right now. Yes. 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 She yes. couldn't be hot. Dakota, yeah. Dakota Johnson is, yes. is yes. elite in whatever she does. Those two women are elite level actors, and both of them have done the proper thing and went, we know it's yes. shit. Yes. We're not defending it. This is awful. They played it perfectly. And I saw the SNL monologue where she was like, ah, yeah, if you saw me in that, it's shit. But this lady who's already absolutely just pump action shotgun her fucking career is blaming superhero fans and guys. You, you let us down. You failed us. You didn't want to see like women in power. No, no, no. I, I love that. Ellen Ripley, Sarah Connor. Yeah. I'll sing yeah. that to the heavens. No, forever. I just the movie Wonder, Wonder Woman more recently. Everybody Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman was fine. No, I love Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was fun. Look, 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 grown up watching every horror movie, the fucking woman is the one that saves the yeah, day. She's okay? the smart it's one. Like she's every crafty. sitcom, the guy's the idiot, the woman's the smart. Yeah. Our whole lives, all we've ever been seen is women dominating. Okay. But it's our it's doing it's, Taylor Swift, Oprah, Beyonce, the most yeah. powerful women in the fucking world. <laughs> yeah. Social media and people that create content and force things. It's it's fucking women. Women, our whole lives. Yeah. What was where, that? where are you not watching this? There's two billion dollar yeah. films last year. Mm. Top Gun, Barbie. Okay, yeah. yes. marketed towards yes. women beautifully. Great hey, film. You know what I did? I saw both in the I theater. They're fucking great. Mm. Yeah. Barbie was a great film, but it was a movie that acknowledged. Hey, you know what? Women might like stuff differently than men. Yeah, maybe they like Barbies. Maybe they like Barbies, <laughs> and they don't yeah. like dressing up like fucking Spider Man yes. flying around the city. There might be some that do. There's no no female Spider Man fans. That's not true at all. It's an ignorant statement. But you got to kind of sell to who's buying. Sure. And I remember this happened before. And I wanted to put my fucking face through the drywall. Remember when they relaunched Charlie's Angels a few years ago with that dull eyed zilch from Twilight, whatever fucking name is Kristen Stewart. Okay. Yeah, she I was in that remember. thing. The advertisements fucking watch them. The advertisement said, sorry, fellas, it's a girl's night. And they were selling like, OK, I have to expect it here. Shania Twain start playing fucking. Right. Yeah. And then these three. Hamdenite 
head shaved, septum piercing, ear gauge, non acting motherfuckers slept walked their way through a shit film. I've it never bombed. Heard of it? It bombed. Mm. <laughs> and guess who fucking got blamed? Oh yeah, you. We got blamed. Yeah, and yes. I, people were going. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. <laughs> didn't you write were, the script. You didn't told us to go see it. Yes. Yes. Said, Sorry, yes. fellas. Yeah. It's a girls' night. Yeah. You you failed. You you fucking failed. You just I, make something good, and everyone well, will see. It. We'll all go yeah. see it. Speaking of women being upset with you, let's take a break. Yes, <laughs> and then uh, let's tell a we little gotta story do it. about uh, what happened at the public library last week all right hey enjoy this uh exclusive clip from a most recent shocking <laughs> dark i'm gonna say it macabre Ooh. episode of the dlp patreon say some profound things he said look <laughs> he said if this girl won the lottery and won a million dollars she would buy a million dollars worth of drugs mm. oh wow okay so she's he said awesome she loves <laughs> drugs Hell yeah. more than any person she need a place to stay all right any person that he's ever met my balls are filled okay? with heroin tell her now there's a lot of this story <laughs> that this i plate. cannot tell but let's say that her profession mm -hmm. uh -huh. is one that is only legal in nevada Oh, okay. I understand. So, but she's she, a blackjack dealer. Okay, that's right. <laughs> she, that's she correct. rolls crap. That's right. She does mahjong. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, mahjong. so that pie gal. Pussy. <laughs> that's yeah. it. Pie gal. Pie gal. <laughs> so, pie gal pussy. Is that the name of the episode? Pie gal pussy. <laughs> maybe. So, the DLP agenda. All right, now, now as I start, let me call Katie down here, and she's yes. going to occupy seat four. She'll there be first we go. Guest. Yay, she's going to be our first guest. Class up the joint. So Katie, Katie will be joining Robinson. Yeah. Walk right, right in down. front of the camera. Get a little ass shot when oh, you get Oh, yeah, down she'll here, be able to do Katie. that. I'm actually yeah. going to need her all. Actually, I'm going to yeah. have to turn her stuff up, which I didn't do. Yeah, so go ahead and do okay. that. Okay. Talk. This this yes. blew up Katie's pretty nicely. Us. There was a lot of altering opinions. There was a lot yeah. of hot takes in the DLP text thread. I was kind of reading on. I was like staying in the rafters during WCW Nitro, looking down at the chaos. Watching involved. mommy and daddy fight. I yeah. might have even done a little bit of research about this particular room we're going to discuss. Mm -hmm. This story's got a ton of facets. I'm fascinated. Justin and I it. had to do research about what a library is. Yeah. <laughs> now, books. Talking Where can I find them? <laughs> now, hold okay. on. I can't hear her through her mic right now. Hold on. Yeah, talking to it. Mm. Yeah, turn, turn her on. Up. Turn Did her you up. Turn a the mic bit. on. The actual mic is on the microphone so. itself on. Also, for those that are on the Twitch stream tomorrow night, twitch.tv slash Justin 98 Rock, we are going to have ourselves, uh, Joe, Rob, myself, Scott, Josh, Joe Stamboni, and Katie Robinson signed check. production skateboard deck. Check, check, check. Bring it down go. a little check, bit. Check, check, check. And there we go. You sound great. We should have done this ahead of time. That's hey, on me, the audio file in the room. Katie, good evening. Thanks. This is a cool. This is a cool little setup you have. I almost ate yeah. a dog treat. I know. <laughs> Fuck, I'm yeah. done. It I feel like left out. By brittle. the way, you all have one of these cups. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. Brittany. No, don't make. Me. So let okay. me start the story by telling it from my perspective. Okay. <laughs> all right. Usually, so, that's where Joe's things come from. <laughs> I already, I already hate <laughs> it. Setting the table. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just gonna scoot away a little bit. Yeah. Over the Katie, side uh, <laughs> Katie, and I. Katie works outside of the home. She likes to go to coffee shops. She yes. likes to go to. She's so right now. She's mobile. She's at the uh, Annapolis Library. Mm -hmm. okay. That's where she is. And um, our internet goes down. Mm. So I text her. I go, hey, the internet went down. She goes, I'm at the library. There's free internet here. Yeah. Why don't you come here? No sweat. You were at the library? Katie was at the library. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. My bad. Can You're I, without internet. Can you can't I work. No, no. I always am. I can't hear Katie. I can hear her pretty clear, clearly. She sounds like, hey, yeah. chat. Can everybody hear Katie? Give us a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear Katie, because I can hear her clear as a bell right now. Yeah. She sounds nice. If anybody's in chat, let us know. Robbie, you can't hear her at all? <coughs> no, I mean, she's very low. Oh, she can hear us. No, everyone says she, right, they, they hear her. Okay. She sounds good. good. Okay. Yeah, she sounds fine. So I, I don't usually work at home. I get too distracted at home with needing to do things around the house. So yes. I like to go find a coffee shop and work there and kind of bounce around to different places. Um, this particular day, I did not want to be at a coffee shop because I had a lot of meetings back to back. Okay. So it's loud when there's a coffee shop and there's people in the background. So I'm like, okay, let me try the library. I had never been to the library prior to this day. So this okay. isn't a regular thing for me. So I, I have a call in about 30 minutes. I go to the library to scope out where I'm going to take the call. 
Joe hadn't even texted me yet about coming to the library. I walk the entire perimeter of the library looking for a place to take the call. How busy is it? There's there's probably 40 people in this library. There's it it's a pretty big library. There was not a lot of people there. This is on West Street. It's on West Street. Okay, it's a I know very this library. nice, very, very nice yes. library. Now you gotta hear it from my perspective. Okay. okay. So from my perspective, I walk in to the library and I'm looking for my wife. Okay. I want to know where she is, right? She's the hot one. There. Did you walk in? Hey, Katie. <laughs> so I walk in now, right? That's interesting you say that because what 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 do you know about a library? Shh. Yeah. You're supposed to keep it down in yeah. a library. However, Katie, she is in actually in a room labeled the quiet room. Now, guys, in a library, you're already supposed to be quiet. It's already. Okay? Yeah, that's what do you vibe. think the quiet room means? That means it's especially quiet. It means you don't make a sound. Yeah. OK, that's just what I'm assuming. Katie made a pretty good point in we'll the get text there. thread we'll about get that word. We'll well, the, chat, that's, the, that's chat was saying they, the chat was saying they hear Katie fine. That's why I was. Telling OK, you. got yeah. it. Got it. So so I go in there. Katie is having a meeting okay. in the quiet room. Now, this is all I see because I actually send you guys a video. So in the room, like a zoom meeting where Katie, that's exactly right. Okay. Where Katie is having her meeting are two other people who went specifically into the quiet room. Sure. I'm assuming by the way, to not hear anything. If this is the movie, The Quiet Place, they're all getting murdered because That's of Katie. That's right. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> right. So anyway, so of course, what do you think? I think when I hear that, I'm laughing. Obviously, sure. I think that shit's fucking hilarious. Yeah, right? Right ass bitch. Because Katie's like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You guys what? are reading Shell Silverstein. I'm yeah. making money. You know who I, I don't am? care. Yeah. She's in there. She's talking and I'm laughing. And of course, I text her and I go, hey, no, no, that's not true. I take a video of it and I send it to you guys. And I'm said, on the chat. Yes. And yes. I send a video <laughs> of her. The tone has changed. In the meeting, <laughs> uh, the other guy in the room, <laughs> the other girl in the room. Yeah. I go, Katie is literally in a room. And then I take a picture. That He's shitting on me on the group chat yes. while I'm sitting there on the call that's yes. happening. Right. But he has yeah. no idea the backstory. I don't. Okay. I, so, so now you've, now we're caught up. Right. I'm caught up. So <laughs> when I walk, when I walk the perimeter of the library, there's really nowhere for me to take the call except for out in the open where everybody else is. Okay. They have these little collaborative rooms that you can go up to the front, I guess, and say, hey, can I get in there? They're all full. There's nowhere for mm -hmm. me to take this call except there's this one room that nobody's in. And it does say quiet room. Okay. So nobody's in there. I go, okay, maybe I can just take this call for the next 30 minutes because there's literally nobody in here. They'll see maybe when they walk by that I'm on this call so they won't come in sure. or something if they really need this if you room. look through the window, someone's there's, talking to someone. It's all windows. Okay. It's not like a secret room. It's all windows. Yes, you can see whatever's going on okay, in there from the outside. Okay, you've said your point. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this is so hot. So I, there's a, a about three minutes before my call starts, I'm all set up in this chair in this desk. Three minutes before the call starts, it's a 30 minute call. There's a, a woman who walks in. Bitch. I said, I literally grab my computer. I'm starting to pack up. I go, oh, I was going to take a call in here. I'm sorry. I'm going to step out. She goes, oh, no, no, it's no problem. Like, totally fine. I go, okay, it's a 30-minute call. I'll be in and out, right? It's not going to be long. And there's no one in there. It, other than her and I now. And she's on and board. she has said it's fine. Yeah. So, okay. So about, I don't know, 22 minutes into this call, Joe's not there yet. Maybe 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Joe's not there yet. A guy walks in to this room. And he sits down halfway between myself and this woman in, in a singular chair. And he sits like crisscross applesauce <laughs> into this chair. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> he opens his laptop. He's on Facebook. Well, hold on. He did go into the quiet room. Hold okay. On. He did. He walked in. He, walked he sees in. people. He in. Sees... could have gone anywhere. He went into the quiet room. He went into the quiet room. Yep. But he saw me on there right? in a laptop. And yes. you know he's not he working. He fully walked in. I fully had uh, something going on there mm. already. And he sat down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then Joe walks in about 60 <laughs> seconds later. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. And this is like, where like they're a team. The videos, yeah, yeah, yeah. the videos are I happening. Said yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The videos are happening and the pictures are happening and the you guys aren't going to believe this. This bitch is in this. In this While you're literally on a work call. While I'm on yes. a work call, right? Yes. So now I'm annoyed because. <laughs> hey, I have the video, which, by the way, we can post. Now, okay. In, in Joe's defense, he doesn't realize, obviously, what happened before that. But I, I also went like 12 minutes over the call. Okay. Also, in my defense, it's fucking hilarious. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so it's hilarious now, but when we leave, it's just her s- s- scowling at you. No, no, oh, yes, because hey, she's over there on the call listen. seeing me say yeah. she's talking in the quiet room. This it gets worse. <laughs> so, and this happened Friday. So we've now talked about it for like, I don't even know how long. Yeah. So um, it goes 12 minutes over. So I am feeling the stress a little bit about this call. I also have the volume down so low. I'm also not helping. No, because he's <laughs> laughing. So yeah. he's like pissing me off. But the volume is so Joe's low. Joe's brand. And not I'm helping. Actually, yeah. I'm actually laughing too because I'm like, okay, I, I understand the irony here. And I understand that this is a quiet room and I'm on a call. Like this couldn't have been worse. So then I get off the call. And I walk over to Joe. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> yes. And I say, I'm like kind of laughing because I know what's going on in the group chat and there's videos. And you stuff. understand and like, the absurd. Yeah. I'm like, okay, God. You know, I go, but listen, I had our, and I'm talk, just talking to Joe like this. I'm yeah. like, yeah, but he goes, this is the quiet room. I go, I know. It's not the silent room. But I also, when she, that lady walked in, I asked her and she said it was okay for me to take the call. And he goes, well, what about that guy? I go, well, he walked in halfway through the call. But he doesn't mind. I go, sir, you don't mind, do you? And he said, actually, I do. Oh, man. Being that guy. Oh, high, high five. five. <laughs> and then he dreamed about sucking his dick. Oh, God. And then we kicked oh. Katie out of the room. Yeah. Yeah. We had a party in there. Dude, this, <laughs> you want to go to Chevy's? <laughs> this guy. Oh, you play he, poker? The he, perfect dance. He, he, your hero is your new friend of 2024. Oh, God. Yeah, he's coming over here tonight. He's going to be the next guest. Hey, he, Chuck, welcome. He, hey, welcome. He gave off. By the way, Joe knows, and we've already talked about this. Joe knows that, like, like he could have literally said, you know what? You're off now. It's, it's fine. Like he knows that that answer couldn't have been a funnier and better answer <laughs> for him to have that story to tell. Yeah. yeah you couldn't have scripted it. It wasn't better. even about me because right. truthfully, if we didn't have the relationship that we had, he'd probably be like, Hey, this guy's a fucking asshole. But no, that's not said he high fives him. He gets the story. <laughs> Instead, you heard the curb your enthusiasm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right? yeah. Well, here's the deal. If that's me, I'm that guy. Even if I'm annoyed, if somebody comes up to me and goes, "Did you mind?" I'm gonna not want the I'm the gonna conflict, yeah. right? I'm gonna especially say, a hot chick like Katie. And the calls over, yeah, right? right? So I didn't even think about guy, that. Yes. You're attractive. There's a chance for him to go. No, not at all. Hey, we got to work. What were you? What were you working on there? Maybe a yes. chance to oh, no. follow shit. How old is he? Uh, I would say he's 40. late 30s, early 40s. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see he also a of he also <laughs> took his shoes off. Oh, okay. okay. Uh-huh. Wait, yeah. th- he also, Fuck this he guy. Was on, by the way, I mentioned he was on Facebook. I wasn't bugging him he because he was on Facebook. Do his that- Facebooking in complete silence. Okay. So wait, he then, he pulls out, <laughs> then he pulls out a book, right? He's just the worst guy. But not only did he say, I actually do mind. He even said more. Do you remember oh, yes. what he said? He yeah. said, <laughs> he goes, he goes yeah. well, actually you can go up to the front. And ask them for a collaborative room, and oh. they'll let you into a collaborative room oh. if you wanted to. And I and I said, "Sir, man, can I have your babies? Hey, <laughs> do you know? Can wait, I suck your dream out here? Yeah. What did I do? You'll be in my next dream. Yeah. What did I do when he said that? Now. You laughed at. Him. I laughed at it. I like. I was like, I mean, God, I was like, but I also knew as soon as he said that, Joe was like, "Yes, this guy fucking rules." Yes. Oh man, you, he, he was both the worst okay. and the best guy. The fact yeah. that he knew that there was a collaborative room at the front. Does this guy live there? You have to go back to the library at that same time and find this guy. Oh yeah, we like, need. Yeah. Actually, you can yeah. go to the front and they'll get. And I'm like, oh, this what guy, a douche! Man. What a picture of nerd. Him. I because I have that video. You can yes. see him. Yeah. Well, that, and in the video, he doesn't have his shoes on. Oh. Oh. Then I have to sit back down and <sighs> and and he's sitting there, and that just happened, and Joe's sitting there, and that woman's sitting there. And the four of us are just sitting there now in silence. <laughs> Awkward as tits. Joe's like furiously texting the group like, oh, my God, you're not going to believe this. I was so annoyed at this guy. He got up and walked away. And I was like, Tommy, I got to do something to this guy. What do I need Boy, to do? Simbazo. Yeah. All right. If this was a Curb episode. Yeah. You all go see Dune again. That guy's in there. You start talking really loud. Just to fucking piss <laughs> right him off. You're yes, sitting there exactly. watching Dune. Yeah. You see two bare feet come across oh. your seat. You turn around, and it's him. Yeah. Or he starts talking. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty, pretty, pretty good. You come to find out he's Nailing. related to the people on the other side of the Zoom chat yeah. somehow. Yeah. 
But by I the way, he lost the high ground. When he took his fucking shoes off. Yeah. You yeah. take your shoes off. You've lost any hey, fucking no, negotiation. No barking you dogs in a quiet room. The only no. thing that you guys know about the rules of that room mm -hmm. have to do with the sound that you make. You don't know anything about uh, the I don't know. Coming no. from the loudest person I know, <laughs> who also, talks the most out of anybody I know. It should have been also assumed, keep your fucking shoes on room. Uh, Ariel just said, uh, oh no, uh, Dave Dennis said, you should have stole the shoes and ran. <laughs> yeah, says, this, invite, this invite the guy to my goobies. Your hair's getting a lot of love, Katie. Hair a lot yeah. of hair getting yeah. love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, oh, Carrie. Oh, Carrie they like, I did cut it. Her it's hair it was amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, she cut her hair. Look, mm -hmm. you, you got hair. there first. Then another woman walked in. You established with her that it was cool. Yes. And then you come in. Clearly, you're mid-call. So yes. even though this guy's coming into the quiet room, once he goes in that, he sees what's happening in there. So I, he had the decision then, if I don't like what's going on, I would just walk out and decide he's and go he where to get complete silence, which is what he's Joe, trying to in get. any oh, other part Joe, of the library. You're piss me you don't off need all complete over again. silence. Go get a collaborative room. Get you know where they are. <laughs> headphones on. Listen, with Joe. Yeah, I, I'm bitch, not going to sit uh -huh. here and act like yeah. I know that I shouldn't have been in that room if I'm taking a call. I, I addressed it with the one person. I knew there was a chance <laughs> someone could come in. I even thought when he walked in, Maybe I should mute this and be like, hey, are you cool? I'm almost on this call. But I was like, there's only eight minutes left. Yeah, now, what like, if he exactly. said no? You it would have to oh, hang up. What if he just shuts your laptop? Yeah. You're done now. <laughs> what are the chances that somebody actually honestly says that it bothered them? I hate this fucking guy so much. Brittany uh, is on your side. She says, hey, you were there first. That's on them mm -hmm. for coming in. Totally on your side. Ladies go with it. Thanks. Dude choose to stay. Katie was there first. Dave might have missed the ori original part of this. Don't understand why Katie feels the need to leave the house to go to work. The internet was down. <laughs> the internet, internet was down. I'm always out working, yes, not at home. I, I, don't I, like I left be because the internet was down. That's yeah. why I was fortunate enough. Right. She to was see this getting away from Joe <laughs> yeah. so he wouldn't be an asshole to her. And, oh, and then he, he showed up me. and found her. Oh, where found are you? <laughs> well, I think we know where we're going to book our first live podcast, Dave. Uh, yes. And that's the quiet room on yes. the West Street in Arundel. Hey, that's the show title The Quiet Room. The Quiet Room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the listeners are on your side, and I but I know what you're saying that the the comment from him that was a scratch off win for him. I know uh, that was a royal flush in a hand of poker. I will be making one of the rooms in our house the quiet room, and mm. Joe can't speak. Yeah, you don't get to jack off Jesus. in that room. What mm -hmm. a year it's for Joe. He wins the fuck, he wins the cook, the yes. bake off when Frank loving the it. The quiet room. Exactly. Now he's got the quiet yeah, room. What else could happen? Where's the lottery? 600 million? <laughs> yeah, you're going to win this thing. You got to play Mega Millions. <laughs> We're going to opening day next week. I oh, mean, hell he's having that. A, yeah. Spring training. Spring training. Right. I'm no, sorry. No, spring, spring training. training. Spring Shit, training. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's incredible. Well, again, I think most of us are on your side. <laughs> you're self aware. Yes. You knew what was happening. Your title for his eventual new special is fucking brilliant. Okay, I don't want to get into it too terribly much. Oh, and yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about it on Patreon. Yes, yeah. we'll get more well, into it on more Patreon. More Rob Love Life on Patreon. And uh, again, the new Patreon episode is going to be up very, very soon if you're watching this it's live. It's out now. It's out right now. Yeah. It's up. It's on. I mean, it's, not if you're live, but you understand. You get it. Go yeah. to the Patreon page. It's there. We got a bunch of new episodes. And please, April 24th, I would love to see you Wednesday night in Magoobies. It's going to be me doing sort of a rough, dry run of the fall special. I'm calling it falsehood, malarkey, and lies, true stories I made up. This is going to, I'm taping this thing. Uh, that's not going to be the oh. name of the actual special. This is going to be a little mini yes. special just to kind of stretch my legs and see I if any these stories actually we'll work be out there. And Wednesday night. If I may, if you come April 4th to Seinfeld Trivia with Josh Spiegel, yes. maybe we can involve uh, some prizes to come to that oh, yeah, on April that. 24th. Let's prize so. we'll some put people that in there. The yes. basket. And yeah. I hate to give you, uh, you know, you do the dishes as well. You have to do the dishes again. The basket you put together oh, yeah. for the last Seinfeld Trivia, mm -hmm. people still talk about. It I'm was on just it. this fucking yes. cornucopia of amazing Seinfeld little uh, nuggets and throwbacks. Junior yeah. mints. It was incredible. Black and white cookies. Yeah, mm -hmm. so go to Magoobies.com, uh, DLP Agenda on Patreon. We appreciate you. Talk to you next week. See ya.